You know, um, I, I I love, I know you guys do too, whether you admit it or not. I love those old, old universal horror films like, you know, The Invisible Man and Frankenstein and... American Werewolf in London. Okay. And yeah, <laughs> but, you know, I'm talking about the classic old black and white things, the Boris Karloff. Frankenstein. Okay, Frankenstein yeah, and The course. Invisible Man. The, the, basically the movies that you could get those Aurora model kits of, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, you have to be like 500 years old to remember those. But um, that that stuff, you know, that it just it still works for me. I still love to watch those things. There's something about them, and very importantly, they're in the public domain. So, um, but you, you, you can do a lot of things with them. The, yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can make your own yeah. Frankenstein movie as long as you don't okay. use that Frankenstein appearance that they that um, Universal has copyrighted. Okay, or the you know the other appearances of things they're trying to do this monster verse thing now at universal it's been they've been kind of going to going about it rather slowly well they first started with remember the mummy was a tom so cruise bad. huge yeah. budget disaster bombed. and that bombed terribly one of the worst films of the year and they just spent way too much money and then they said we're not doing this after all we're not gonna no. do it we're not gonna do it but then ali wanell who is this australian writer director actor who did saw with james wan you know they they, they did the yeah. Saw franchise and then he went in to do this movie up it was called uh, upgrade which was a really cool oh, sort of that was like great yeah about yeah about a guy who sort of like uh, got really strong and it was really fun sort of genre picture yeah. and then a couple of years ago he did the invisible man he got they gave him nine million dollars not a big budget oh. to make a, a, you know one of the universal classic uh, horror uh, characters but he got a, elizabeth a field trip wasn't it we did we did yes, a field trip yeah right that. and it stars elizabeth moss so the invisible man is basically not in it because he's mostly invisible it's yeah. really her story <laughs> Kind of inherent in the Invisible yeah. Man that he would not yeah. appear in his own film. The Invisible cool, Man is a star in this film. But it was a cool idea to like not focus on him with the bandages yeah, right. and the hat, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. It was like he was he's around, but you really can't see him, and it's her story. Yeah. And uh, uh I thought it was really well done. I thought it was really a well done. Take. It's a great so twist he, on that. Yeah, yeah. A real great twist. So anyway, he's doing the second one, which is The Wolfman, which is another lower budget film that he's writing and directing, starring Christopher Abbott, who's a really interesting actor who uh I think will be kind of a good choice, and uh Julia Garner, who's always good, you know. Love from, her. Ozark and a bunch of other films. Americans. Yeah. The Americans. So it's a this is a teaser trailer. The movie comes out January 17th of 2025. So it's a few months Ooh, away. So nice. let's check out the teaser trailer for Wolfman. Okay. Wolf werewolf movies have been have come and gone. You know, there have been yeah. like remember there was like the howling and the wolf and, and all these American werewolf in London. And and um it's interesting how what can you do with a wolfman story with a werewolf story right mm -hmm. we'll see what what and then what this teaser shows us you ready yeah let's do it oh praying mantis so oh, cool they're, oh yeah. they're so cute Oop. <laughs> <laughs> oh they're friends <laughs> What's that thing, Blake? It sounded like an animal. But I swear to God, it was standing on two feet. Daddy, are we gonna die? No. It's my job to protect you. Oh! What's wrong with Daddy? He got sick. Blake, that is scary! Oh. Is that you? Wow, that's a lot of footage for a teaser. But it gave us a lot. Even though that type was super annoying and in the way. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the wolf man was glowing. You can't see anything. Oh. Right. It kind of reminded me of the alien, uh, you know, the, yes. the, which is uh, a Definitely. classic, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it looks sort of like what you would expect. Um you know, hopefully it, it's you know, like a straight ahead wolf, wolf movie, werewolf movie. Um, you know, there was what it, 
oddly enough, kind of reminded me of this seventies movie called the boy who cried werewolf. I know that film is sort of a, you know, rough version of a wolfman kind of thing where it's just a, like he's just a violent yeah it, it kind of i don't know why it reminded me of that like a kid like kids and the dad is the werewolf you know mm-hmm. there was also that you know black mirror did that episode called Maisie day that was sort of a werewolf kind of thing that yes. was it it almost worked i feel like it took a little too long to get to the werewolf part like i feel mm-hmm. like they they hid it for a long time and then when it came out it was starting to get good and then it was the end it was like well <laughs> so but I did think that was kind of an interesting idea that there's kind of like almost in a way kind of a cult of werewolves idea that there's a little population right. of them that was kind of in a way cooperative in a strange way. And they had people kind of managing them. That was kind of a fun idea. But uh, that's funny. I guarantee when we see more about the transition of the werewolf, it's going to look just like American Werewolf in London because <laughs> nobody has changed from that template that Brick Baker invented of how it looks to turn into a werewolf. They're always well, how the same. It, or more, always I think the same. more importantly, how it feels. I, I like the idea yes, that in the old like werewolf how. movie, you know, Lon Chaney Jr. would just sort of hold still and they would fade between and he would just sort of get hair get gradually hair. become yeah, a yeah. werewolf. But in American Werewolf, yeah. That was the first time it it hurts to become yeah, a you're werewolf. Transforming, it's got to be painful. Yeah, and same with the uh, same with uh, the howling. You know, that was yeah. Rob Bottin's yeah. take on it, yeah. and that was also the great just shot of like the snout growing. You know, like that was just the like shadow, so yeah. incredibly realistic. I mean, I was yeah. both of yeah. those were just like wow. 40 years ago, yeah. they can't top this. So no, who knows they what they're going to do here. So it's probably going to be the same sort of thing, which I'm fine with. I mean, what else Howling can do? is great. And 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 Wolfen is a good one, too. Yeah. Yeah, Wolfen. With so the, good. Wolfen was so Albert, sad. Albert yeah. Finney. Yeah, yes. that was really good. And they were actual wolves. Like, it wasn't like a wolf man. They were actually yeah. wolves. Right. Pretty yeah. cool. I, I think what's interesting about this, the, the thing that I think kind of sets it apart a little, is sort of an isolation horror. Looks a little isolation, like a family living out in a rural area that they aren't aware of what's happening to their their dad. Like their dad is the werewolf and they're yeah. kind of trying to figure I like that idea of them kind of discovering because it, it sort of plays into the fact, you know, you move out, you're out in this isolated area. You think your marriage is going bad or the <laughs> other person's changing. There's all this trauma. There's probably, you know, it feels like domestic abuse or he's just being, I love the idea of kind of tying that all up together and sort of making it like he's, he's turned into a monster. This yeah. person you thought you knew and loved and is, oh, he really is a monster. Okay. So I like then, that idea of making it more personal. Kind of- and there's only six people in the entire cast. Oh, so nice. Which very is very isolation. Yeah. And so, two are kids, I guess. Two or three of them are kids. Uh, two are kids. And then um, the, the, the family. And then like one other, like two other people. Oh, so, yeah. Interesting. You know, the interesting thing about a werewolf idea, a, a lot of horror, horror tropes is that it's metaphorical in some ways. And I've always felt like a wolf man idea is a metaphor for, you know, rage and, and you know, temper and all that kind of thing and how people can kind of you know people that have um certain psychoses can become a different person you you know people or have like probably Banner. <laughs> but i mean like you know you yeah. you know people that you've probably worked with or something who are really nice one day and then the, and then they're not nice you know yeah. they have this sort of schizo kind of vibe and a lot of times what i feel and i don't you know maybe it's just because lon cheney junior but one of the things i feel is that it's kind of a metaphor for alcoholism like the way people change, certain people change when they drink. I mean, a lot of people, when they drink, they just kind of get goofy and mellow. But some people, when they drink, they become violent. They become, you know, like Religion. a violent. Yeah. And I think so many people experience that transformation in people when they drink or do drugs or whatever. But mostly it's alcohol. And and uh, I, for some reason, I've always felt like it's, you know, when the kid is on the floor and the dad's on the floor and she's like, is daddy OK? You know. Yeah. How many kids have said that about their alcoholic father and how many people have felt that way? You know, how many women have felt that way about their alcoholic husband? Like yeah. daddy's sick. Daddy is sick. Yeah. Right now. It's you know? okay. He'll be okay. And like, yeah, you know, right. he just runs off all night. We don't know where he was. So it's like, right. You know. He's gone all night. He takes off and then he comes back and he's all dirty and yeah. you know, he wakes up going, Oh my God, what did I do? You all know? Right. It's, it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, too. I think all yeah. that yeah, yeah. ties in, you know, that kind of stuff. So, and Dr. Happens, Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, he even he literally even yeah. drinks something to become yeah. this other person. But the 
you know that that metaphor has always been kind of a little bit of the the dark underside of the the werewolf lore to me. Yeah, well, maybe they'll always feel that way. That yeah. comes out in January. It looks. I, I'm going to watch it because yeah. I like. Yeah. I like. His, I like his, the filmmaker. His filmmaker. Yep. Yeah. So let's check uh, Wolfman coming out in January. Right. So Probably many trailers. January. Oh, good oh. lord! You got a ways to go. <laughs> yeah. Next it'll year, come here, it'll come here pretty quick. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care. Bye. See ya.